Hello, Auburn High School families. This is Jeff Gardner, principal of Auburn High. It is Thursday, May 26th. Uh, we've got about a month left of the school year, and our seniors have about three weeks left. We're getting down to it. It's going to be kind of a, a unique video I'm sending you because usually these are the things that principals talk about at the start of a school year, and I did, and I'll do it again in September, but I wanted to kind of reemphasize something that is quite important, and that is student attendance. Now, some folks might believe that students have kind of like set the mold. They know what they're doing this year. If they're missing two days of school a week, that's going to continue. I'm here to believe that we can change that, and we can increase our attendance the last month of school, but I need the help of our parents to encourage students and, you know, maybe give some incentives or, or maybe even some consequences at home if they're not showing up. We need them here. You know, it's been a crazy year, and there's been a lot of messaging to students to stay home if they don't feel well, and that messaging will continue forever. But we honestly believe that there's some students who aren't showing up or showing up and not making it to class that feel perfectly fine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and show you a slideshow here. I've got a little bit of data to kind of impress upon you the importance of why being at school is so important to the students, okay, with learning and everything. Our staff have done a great job getting our kids through the distance learning part of the pandemic, but we're back to normal now, and it's really important that uh, our students uh, kind of give in to that, I guess, some of them. Most of our kids are doing a really great job, as you're going to see. Um, so, You'll see there that, that showing up is 90% of the equation. If we can get the kids in the building, teachers can do a great job with them, okay? And kids can do a great job with their teachers and with their classmates. The other 10% is what you do when you're here. We have a lot of students that show up daily, do quite well. We have a handful of students that show up daily, and there's some struggles. Um, but as long as they let the teachers know when they're struggling, how they're struggling, we can get them the, the help they deserve. Um, the next thing is the messaging we want to give the kids every day is be here every day, be on time, attendance counts, students that get here on time, and I know the morning rush can be really challenging for a lot of families. Um, it's probably challenging for every family. So if you get, there's a way for you to rethink your morning routines, your evening bed routines, um, I think that could end up paying dividends. And if you try this, just tell your family, we're going to try this for a month. We're going to really go all out to make sure we can get to school on time so we can be successful, we can have great learning. And I'll tell you what, most of our kids that show up on time and they get the day started off right, they tend to end the day right also. All right, here's some data points I wanted to show you. I'm going to show you three different sets of students. This is the first set of students, and these are Auburn High School students, 310 of them, um, as a matter of fact. And this comes from semester one. Semester one stretched from September, I think the 6th or 7th, and it went to the last day of January. There were 88 days. And you can see from this group um, the A grades, the B grades, the C grades, D grades, the E grades, which are Fs that were pretty close to passing, and the students can still do something about that. Uh, about that. And then a lot less... Um, Students fail in this realm in terms of showing up every day. It's 1.3%. I don't know the exact number. It was like 1,800 and some grades total. Um, but this is what we know. Auburn High School students who attend school 95% of the time or better were considered on track to graduate on time. And this comes from an attendance standpoint only. That's nothing to do with skills or efforts. This is just showing up. Being at school has considerable impact on academic success. So when you look at semester one grades from this year, you can see that our almost three, it was 300 student, 310 students. They attended school at least 83 of the 88 days. And this group passed their classes at a rate of 98%. 63% of the grades were A's. That's pretty amazing. 20% were B's. But these were all passing grades other than 2% of them, 2.06. Okay, so that, that feels pretty good. Okay, I'm going to click you down to the next group. This is also a group that's considered fairly successful, and this is what the state would consider moderately at risk. And this is those students that show up 90 to 94% of the time. To hit this mark, you know, during a full school year, 
you would be a student or your student would be a student that misses 17 or 18 days. That's a lot of days of school, but out of 180 or so, 179, whatever it is, um, they're still here 90 to 94% of the time. Again, you can see a pretty good rate of passing. You see 95.5% um, of them had passing grades or the grades were passing and 50% of the grades were A's and 23% were B's. So that looks pretty good too. One of the things we really try to impress upon our students is making sure they can, you know, they know that every day is a new start. Okay, every day is a new start. And if there's been some bad habits with attendance, maybe today's this day, maybe tomorrow's a day where you can turn over a new leaf. I would say don't wait until September. If you can get this new habit going in May, you're going to be that much better off when September shows up. So here's the data for the group, and it's 882 Auburn High School students that showed up up to 89%. Now, some of them could have showed up a lot less, like 25% or even 10% or less or 60% or 75%, but they kind of batch them all into this group, 882 students. And you can see that the passing rate, okay, was only about, what was it, 78%. And you can see the A grades went down quite a bit. The Bs stayed about the same, okay and then C's and D's, but a lot more F's, a lot more E's. What that means to students is you're going to have to make those up same, some way, shape, or form. You're not going to be able to take the electives you truly would like to take, um, creating more relevancy in your school day, because maybe there's something in the CTE department or in the music department or in the art department or PE or whatever the case may be, or you might just want to take some upper level math or upper level science that you wouldn't have been able to test. But when you start failing grades, you start taking away those opportunities from yourself. And you also can extend the opportunity to graduate in four years. So very, very important. Um, one of the things we try to tell kids is uh, well, those who show up are the ones that tend to be the decision makers. We love giving our students voice around the school, but they got to be here. Um, we know there's a lot of factors. We know there's the COVID protocols that added a lot to that data from September, October, November, December, January, February. But we're pretty much out of that now. Um, and there's regular illnesses. We understand that. There's COVID-related stresses. There's family needs. But I'm mainly speaking to the situations where kids are just not showing up. I'm talking about the truancy part, okay? And we've got a truancy board in King County but I'll tell you this, it goes really slow. We can do what we can at the high school, but by the time they've responded and worked with students, a lot of missed assignments, a lot of missed opportunities. We work with a group called Unleash the Brilliance. They work with some of our students and even a few of our families to help them kind of get their feet back under them so they can start attending more regularly. That can work. But now I'm just really trying to convey to families out there, okay? We need your help. Your students need your help. We need to just set some, down some boundary lines for them about making sure they make it to school, they make it on time. They don't have to like it. They don't have to be agreeable, but they got to do it. And when they're here, they generally do a really nice job. So anyway, that's enough information for tonight. I'm hoping we can see some turnarounds in this last month. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.